Still hunting down adversaries, but what I really need is wit sharpening potion gifts like the rest of you. I'm Professor Vokas, and this is Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Hello, Professor. I didn't see you there. Okay, so you can see on my screen, I've come out to Waverly Place. I'm by these two greenhouses. I'm trying to get this wit sharpening, and let me show you my special assignments. I still have to use the edible dark mark. We're just going to do that when I get home, which I need to remember to save enough extimulos that when, and I only have one wit sharpening right now to survive whatever, um, is available because as much as I want to grind out adversaries, my main limitation is I run out of potions and I just can't, certain things I can't defeat. Draco, I would at least need a healing potion, I think, and then just not to get any super bad luck. Well, if I had the healing potion, I could get super bad luck. But from my combat tree, let me show you my combat tree. I guess the real issue for me is I don't have enough spell books, the red books, so I have, I've maxed out my crit, so I do the damage, but the dodge side, I haven't been able to do any of that. Um, I have seven spell books right now, and I need 30 just for that very first dodge to just not as take as much damage. So that is hurting me in a lot of ways that, that is why I can't make it quite as far and I just take a little bit too much damage. So I am definitely potion reliant to be able to beat adversaries. And yesterday I wanted to grind out a bunch, but I ran out of potions and that pretty much was my limiting factor. It was at that point I knew you can't do anymore. So if I do the edible dark mark, three are gonna pop up and we'll have to see what comes up and if I can handle them. Because if it's the dragons, that's gonna be rough with only the one wit sharpening. If I ran into another one without a wit sharpening, stacked on top of something else. By the way, that's a piece of advice is, Wit sharpenings, don't ever use them by themselves. It should be a wit sharpening and an extimulo. That's where it's going to stack and actually give you a good effect. Other than that, they're really just not that useful. So just make sure you stack them. And then for me, it's even just stack them. When it runs out, don't worry about it. Just keep using um, whatever level extimulo you may need for your profession and whatever uh, adversary you happen to be against at that time. One thing I do want to do though, just in case I do, do get some adversaries is I've been trying to avoid Dracos. Well, not avoid them. I just haven't been hitting adversaries because I actually am ready to prestige this page. So let's place this Potter Stinks button. That's the last thing I need. I've placed the other stuff. That's going to get me a couple defense against Dark Arts books and some challenge experience, which nice, almost, almost ready to level up. But let's go ahead and prestige this page. Yes. Nice, so that's my first adversary page prestige, which is Draco, makes sense. And I carried some fragments over, which is nice, like 10 out of 20 on his wand, so that I'll be able to uh, build that up a little bit quicker. And he's 9 out of 18. What's he going to get me? He's going to get me 9 defense against Dark Arptics when I finally make that image and place it. Fenrir, I'm still about 5 fragments. Yeah, 5 fragments away on two of those things, being able to place it, and only one away on that wanted poster. So my only real goal here, as I hit these greenhouses right now, and I do have gift space, I made sure to have gift space, is to get Witch Sharpening Potion gifts from here, maybe hit some adversaries. Oh, Witch Sharpening gift! Maybe I just needed to turn the camera on, because that's like the eighth time I've hit it today. Oh, I only need one more. Let's hit the other greenhouse and see if we can pull it off. This would be pretty lucky amazing. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. So that's amazing. As you can see right there, I, I literally just got those two <laughs> right there on camera. I've hit each greenhouse three times prior to me just turning on the camera, just trying to get them, and then I just got both right there. All right, well, let's go ahead and collect, uh, defeat 35 foes and wizarding challenges. We're going to collect that for two strong extimulos, which I can definitely use. Each one of those essentially represents an adversary I can defeat. Find three wit sharpening gifts. I get a wit sharpening potion, so that's going to help me again with another harder adversary to at least pop that on top of a strong extimulo. And then the 1500 challenge XP, I run a ton of fortresses and stuff, so I've got that edible dark mark coming. Nice. So the only thing I have left is to use an edible dark mark and get two armadillo bile for the tasks at least. And um, when I do that, it's going to give me three. So even though I see some adversaries here, I may hit one or two of them, but we're going to meet back home because I really just need to use that edible dark mark and there's no reason for me to use it here. I'm completely maxed out on energy, so I'm doing well there. Keep it a little bit of a shorter session. So I'll meet you guys back at home and we'll, let's use that edible dark mark. I thought this was going to take a bit longer for those witch sharpenings, but 
I nailed it right away. That was incredibly lucky. Back home, and after that luck with the witch sharpening gifts, I, I expected to get home and see that they had maybe upped the chances or they had fixed it somehow, but based on what I saw on Reddit and Discord, I really did get incredibly lucky. And honestly, even after I turned off the camera, um, well, I was still just kind of getting stuff together. I ended up hitting those greenhouses uh, one more time each. And this, so you can see the two up top there. And then I even got, I got another witch sharpening after that. The one I had gotten before I had already sent away to somebody. So I'm sitting on three right now, which I will be sending out to my friends. But incredible luck to get the two right in a row and then one right after that. So I, if you weren't able to get it, I think that is something they will be fixing. I know they were aware that it was an issue. As I said before, their intention was that people would get these gift drops from the night bus. And I suppose they were supposed to have some increased rates or whatnot, and maybe that switch didn't get turned on. But all we can hope for is that in the future, if they do have a task like this, they will address it in a way where we do get it. So either night bus, a certain tower, uh, level and above, is an automatic guaranteed with sharpening potion drop, which would be fine, or uh, gift drop. Or in the future, they just don't put tasks like this. One of those two things. So if you weren't able to do it, I'm sorry that that happened to you, and hopefully in the future they do fix this. Looking at my special assignments, as we said, all I need to do is use this one edible dark mark, um, and I did actually wait. It's actually Monday morning for me now, and really it was, let's go to the vault real quick. Go to the vault, and you can see I do have some potions now. I have a uh, potent, uh, eight strongs, five witch sharpenings. I just wanted to make sure I was prepared for whatever three things came up that I could actually fight them and defeat them instead of having to flee from the actual feared adversary at the end. So let's go ahead and put an edible dark mark on. Up in the corner here, you can see I have five of them. I've gotten some drops from adversaries and or their guards, um, and then the rewards from stuff. In fact, I'll use this one, but then when we complete the event, I'll get it right back. So I should be sitting on five for a while, but let's go ahead and use this one. This is the first one I've ever used too. Let's go ahead and we'll collect. So special assignments, use edible dark mark to armadillo bile. I will take that. And then we'll go down to the bottom here. So I'm gonna get my defense against dark arts books. I'll get that dark mark, edible dark mark back, some experience, energy, gold, all good things. Collect that. Congratulations, you have completed the adversary's event. So let's back out and see. There we go. Reports of adversary encounters continue to trickle in, but it seems we've weathered the worst of the storm. Though I can't help but wonder why Fenrir Greyback and Draco Malfoy. Fenrir, I understand. The man was a monster. But Draco, he's misguided, certainly, but evil? Perhaps not now, but there was a time when I would have considered him such constant. I believe these adversaries were pulled from my memories of Draco and Fenrir from the night Dumbledore died. I recognize the feelings of anger, horror, and grief emanating from them all too well. That means Lethifold and Vargas are capable of manipulating the Calamity to snatch other people's memories. How is that possible? Lethifold's letter to Vargas that we intercepted indicated that they used the Calamity to acquire an artifact that had passed through Borgen and Burks. It's possible that artifact somehow had the power to increase their control over the Calamity. Even so, why target me specifically? Harry, I just had an awful thought. Lethefold's leather also mentioned something about trying to bring them back. What if the them they were referring to are the Death Eaters? What if they're trying to find a way to use the Calamity to revive Voldemort? That won't happen, Constance, even if that is what they're planning. As long as good exists in this world, evil will never win. I won't let it. We won't let it. Well, there you go. All right, so let's hit this dark mark and see who we're gonna get. By the way, I've had these bug out three times now in the middle where it just dropped me out and I lost everything, which was kind of a bummer. One of them, I was on a dragon at the end. All right, Slytherin's Basilisk is not too bad. Again, no potions for the first two guys. It uses more energy, but I'm fine with that. Saving potions because that really is the limiting factor in how often I can fight adversaries is just running out of potions. All right, first guy down, he gave me a basilisk egg, nice. So let's look real quick here. Uh, fragments, five out of 10, you see at the top of the screen. So let's see what fragment it gets me. As you can see, it does get really close with this guy, and if I don't get enough crits or he gets extra attacks in a row, it can, it can make me have to use a healing potion because I'm worried. This time, oh my gosh, that's three attacks in a row. If he gets five or six, he would kill me, but I think I should be fine. Again, though, I've noticed that this one in particular does get pretty close. So it said five out of 10 on the fragments, but let's see what it actually gave me. Oh, there you go, Basilisk Fang, six out of 10. So it did stay true. I've noticed the first guard sometimes shows a fragment count, 
and then when you actually get the fragment, they end up giving you something else anyway. That's happened to me a couple times. All right, usually I go right to the corner here and hit the width and then immediately click this corner again as fast as I can to get that strong on. I end up using a little bit more for him because he is tougher. And it, again, depends how many crits I get. Like that was not a crit. Nice, so my potion just ran out, but you can see where he is. This is about the time when the healing potion pretty much has to come out. And then I'm gonna throw another strong on. No wit sharpening though, just the strong. And that should get me to the end. Yeah, it should be fine. One more good crit here would be fantastic. Yep. So crit and took it out. I do still have one um, cast left on the strong, which unfortunately be used for probably one of the guards of the next thing I fight. But let's see what I got. Nice, so you can see I'm five out of nine. I fought five of them. Three Basilisk size. Of course, the Defense Against Dark Heart book, normal stuff. And you can see the Return the Ten Foundables. I, you do get credit for those toward returning foundables. So at this point now, you can see I still have 22 minutes left. So I have to wait a little bit for the next one to appear which is fine, it gives you maybe a chance to just reassess your potions, that kind of thing. And honestly, when I heard three the first time, I felt like it wasn't a lot, but now, now that I look at how fast my potions disappear, it kind of wouldn't matter if it gave me more. It would be a struggle for me to keep up with that, even if I was buying tons of edible dark marks, which I'm not. It would be hard for me to be able to even fight them from energy requirements, but specifically from potion requirements. Keep in mind that is because I haven't able to, been able to open that dodge side. I think that would make a difference in not having to use as many potions or in some cases any at all because I'd be able to just fight it toe to toe. But right now I take too much damage. So when I finally do unlock that, I feel like it will be easier to um, consistently fight them without using too many potions, which is fine. Second dark mark is up. I will show you when I zoom in here, you can see you you um, kind of emanate that same green glow as the dark mark while you're on the dark mark. And also I actually closed, I, cl I say I closed the game, I just put the game in the background, mainly to start my screen record for the second one popping up. And when I um, came back to the game, the dark mark actually disappeared on me. And then I had to actually close the game, reopen it and do that. So if you ever end up having to go away from the game and a dark mark's there and you come back and it's gone and you haven't actually interacted with it, go ahead and restart the whole game and it should repopulate. Anyway, let's see what we got. I believe this is a dragon. Yeah, this is the Norwegian Ridgeback, which is trouble. This is gonna eat up some of my potions. All right, so got a Norwegian Ridgeback spine, and then we go against the three-headed dog. Three-headed dog I have found, um, I, I usually have to use a potion, usually at least one potion. Um, generally, it tends to be healing, just as I go back and forth with it, I end up having to heal myself to be able to stay ahead and not risk dying. So as you see, we were close there. I, he, he got three hits on me at once there. I was actually ahead of the game. I thought I could pull it off, and then he got three hits in, and at that point, it was way too close where if he got another two hits in a row, he was gonna take me out. So, especially if I didn't get crits. So, like I said, usually, unless things go really perfectly for me, I need to use a potion, which means when I get that dodge, I feel like that will mean that won't, that won't be an issue. What do I get? Norbert's Singed Teddy Bear, three out of 10 fragments. Anyway, on to the Norwegian Ridgeback, which I think is one of the toughest in the game, obviously. I'm gonna go right to potions trying to give myself as much time as possible. I am gonna use a potent for this one because it's gonna be useful for sure, but now it's targeting. I did get that first target, nice, and a crit. Ooh, good start. I miss that first one so often because I just haven't got back into the swing of targeting him. And he gets two hits right out of the gate and knocks down. Ooh, takes out a pretty big chunk. Yeah, missing a hit really makes a huge difference here. Oh, always gotta be ready. Be always be ready for two hits in a row for yourself. Ooh, three hits. Cause sometimes you're ready to hit Protego and he his targeting reticule comes up and if you, you don't go right away, you just don't have enough time to target him. Oh, I missed that one. I wasn't ready. So healing potion for sure. And I still have one more hit with the potent if I can target. Nice. And so I Protego and I'm already hitting in this corner because I want to get this strong off as soon as possible. Nice. So you can see uh, wit sharpening, potent, healing potion, and then a strong to finish him off essentially is what I ended up needing. I got some good crits in and I was able to get some hits in. And I, so that's the fourth one I've... Actually, that's the fourth one I've finished. I actually fought a fifth one and it actually... During the battle with him, it kicked me out and I restarted the game and it never reappeared. I just got kicked out and lost lost the potions I had used and lost everything. So that was kind of a bummer. All right, so that was the second guy. While we're here though, while we're still waiting for the third one to appear, 
let me show you, if you go, I'm on the edible dark mark right now. If you go to the vault and you go to tonic for trace detection at this time, it even comes up, but, and it looks like maybe you can use one, but as soon as you hit use, it will say edible dark mark is currently active. You must wait until it expires. So you can't use both at the same time. Third one popped up right around the nine and a half minutes left on the edible dark mark uh, go. So, oh my gosh, it's another Norwegian Ridgeback. Well, hopefully we can take them out as, as easily as we did the last one. Ooh, good crit for the first hit. There we go, first guy down. Eight out of 12 on the spine, so that's good. Only four away on the spine. Three-headed dog, let's, let's see if we can take him out without a potion. Like I said, every time we seem to not be able to quite pull it off. As you can see, he did get some multiple hits in, so there was no way I was gonna get away with not using a healing potion. At one point he got three hits in, and then I did a non-crit attack, and then he got an attack, and I got another non-critical attack. And then just a second ago he got two hits in without me getting attacked, so. When that happens, it definitely pulls me down. I really do have to get the kind of the perfect storm to be able to pull off a no potion go on a three-headed dog because I haven't done it yet. There we go. We did take him out though. One, one healing and I know I've got it. It's really just seeing if I can pull that off. Oh, nice. So I got another of the singed teddy bear. So I'm five out of ten. On we go. I think I'm going to do one regular hit and then apply potions just to, to make it easier before he attacks. And then if I'm messing up that first attack, so do this and I'm clicking in the corner as fast as I can. There we go. I'm gonna use another potent because that really does help out. Probably use a healing potion after the next hit or hits he gives me, whatever this is right here. Yep, let me go ahead and hit him first and then immediately click in the corner and heal up because there's no way. He's already got me so far down. And again, I'm out of potions, so I'm gonna use a strong extimulo. Nice, he's down to 34, so I just need one more hit. And hopefully he doesn't hit me five times in a row. That would be trouble. And there we go. Whew, I'm, I'm always nervous, which you know what? I find that to be a good thing. I haven't been able to play this game where you do get nervous about, are you gonna be able to win this? Fortress battles, you always feel pretty certain about it. It's not too nerve wracking. Some of these battles actually feel a little bit of anxiety because you you really do have to get that target just right and you're worried about how much damage they're doing and waiting to use the potions at the right time. So I'm enjoying that part of the adversaries for sure. Nice, so nine out of 12 on the spine. Good. That page is coming along a bit faster. So that dark mark I used, if you were using it for the event, it didn't give any Dracos or Fenders at all, which I did see other people reporting that same thing. I mean, it ended up giving me the Slytherin Basilisk and then the two of the Norwegian Ridgebacks, which I will say, I almost ran a dark mark yesterday, but I didn't have the potents. I didn't have one of the two potents and I didn't have as many strong extimulos. I didn't have as many witch sharpenings. I went ahead and brewed those overnight just in case something like this happened. I wanted to make sure I had potions. So I am glad that I did that now that it's all said and done. That is gonna finish it up for the adversary event. We do have the um, Hogwarts Holidays part two event starting tomorrow. And, but final thoughts on the adversary event, I, I like, what they've introduced to the game. Just in general, I like what they've introduced to the game. They definitely kind of missed the mark on the wit sharpening potion gift requirement. Not necessarily because they put the requirement in, it's because people couldn't get them. You didn't up the rate of them. It would be like having us try to return a certain foundable a number of times and then not increasing the spawn rate. So you literally just had to get it by luck, which Obviously not a good thing. So I'm hoping they will fix that. I am guess that sounds like the type of thing that just got didn't get turned on. They did not up the rate of wit potion, wit sharpening, potion, gift, drop rates and fortresses. That is a mouthful to say. But anyway, um, hopefully for the future, if they are gonna do something like that, I'm fine with us giving some good gifts like that, but you've got to, they've gotta obviously up the rate and then we'll, we all can be happy getting those and giving them away to people. People have sent me some and I'm about to send three out myself as soon as, as, soon as I have some friends that have uh, openings in their gift that I can send to them. So far it also does seem, at least in my case, there's a certain number of potions required. I, I have to use potions to beat certain adversaries and the higher they go when it comes to the dragons, I have to use a little bit more. My hope though is that when I do finish that dodge area and I am able to maybe get some other nodes filled out, although I'm going to talk about that tomorrow, some of the nodes that I've worked on 
to make this easier with the adversaries, generally revolving around potions, that it will use less potions in the future, that I will be able to defeat a lot of these using either no potions for some of the easier ones and then lower potions for some of those higher ones. Lethal adversaries on their hand, I'm really curious what's gonna go on with that. Oh, and one last thing, I did just use that dark mark because we were required to. Um, I'm still reading that lethal adversaries, the only way to get them would be to use edible dark marks besides outside of events, which is why I'm probably gonna save my edible dark marks and never use them for just to get regular adversaries. I'm gonna wait until lethals are available so that you're getting the most out of them. Unless, of course, I can't defeat lethals right now and I have to build up uh, that um, accuracy, but we'll see when those actually get released, how that's all gonna work out. As always, thank you guys for watching today's video and I will see you guys tomorrow. Knox.